what's up guys welcome back to my channel happy wednesday this is your midweek motivational video i hope you guys had an amazing day i hope your day was productive mine not so much you guys i don't know why i just cannot get on my schedule so first of all i just want to encourage you guys time management is everything and that is something that i struggle with so i used to be able to i think i mentioned this before so when I lived on my own years ago, I was working at a hair salon and I had to be at work at nine o'clock in the morning. And I lived probably a half hour from where my job was, but in the morning during traffic, it would take me about an hour and a half to get there. So sometimes I would have to get up, you know, extra early morning just to make sure that I got to work on time. But most of the time I used to be such a morning person. I would probably sometimes get up at five thirty, six o'clock in the morning and literally I would probably be able to watch the news. I used to be able to do my own nails. Yes, acrylics and all, which any of you ladies out there know, it takes some time. Make myself lunch and breakfast. Um, and still be able to watch a few shows before I left. Like I felt like, and then I would go to work and be super productive and then come back home and all I ever had to do was cook myself dinner, clean a little bit, and that would be it. And I would feel so accomplished by the time I even got to work. And that alone made me feel like I already completed half of my day. And it was only morning time. So I'm a big believer in time management. Am I doing a great job of that? No. Am I trying to? Yes. For the most part, I still get things done during the day, but I don't get them done when I want to during my day. So ideally, when I had my nine to five, I was working my nine to five, but I would sometimes get a video out of the way before I clocked in, which was at 8.15 in the morning. I would have a break before, like around breakfast time for 15 minutes. I had an hour lunch break, then I had another 15 minute lunch break, and then I'd be done by five o'clock. So within that time, I would have both my nine to five and my videos done all by the time I clocked out at five o'clock. So all I had to do after I got out of work at five was go to the gym, come back home, cook dinner and relax and maybe game if I had to. Um, and it's easy when you're working a nine to five. And that's this is probably something I've mentioned in the past. For a lot of people, it's easier to work for someone else because you don't have the responsibility to do everything that upper management has to do. They have to micromanage. They have to check your time cards. They have to make sure that you're clocking in and out on time. There's payroll. There's HR. You don't have to deal with any of that. All Your only job is to clock in, do your work, and clock out. And it, it was the easiest thing. Although for me, it was almost like I had to jobs because I was working in healthcare and I had I was trying to build my business as a YouTuber. Um so it, there was a lot going on and it was very very stressful. My 9 to 5 alone was very stressful. So but I still got stuff done. Like I would get up early in the morning. I could have slept for only 4 hours. I still got up early in the morning, been able to shower, get dressed, do my makeup, get my breakfast and lunch together and leave and be at work by 8.15. Now that I am an entrepreneur, it's it's me. I am my own boss. I am HR. I am the in and out of payroll. I get back what I put in. I, you know, manage myself. So the discipline that it takes for you to be motivated to do these things all day, every day, and there is no days off. There is no days off. Like, I can feel like I have a day off if I get things done and out of the way early. Like, ideally, my schedule, what I would want a day in the life of me, of Scarlo, <laughs> my ideal day would be to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, either go to the gym or do my workout here. When it gets warmer out, maybe go for a walk early in the morning, come back, have my breakfast, get my videos out of the way, take care of home, probably meditate and do what I do, journal, 
and I could be done with my day by 12 o'clock, one o'clock the latest, that's people's lunchtime. My whole day could be done by one o'clock. And after that, it's me doing whatever I want. I can sit here and do nothing all day for the rest of the day. But that's not me. I don't like just not doing anything. I believe in resting. I believe in, take in, in self-care and taking time for yourself. I don't believe in laziness. I don't like being lazy. I don't like not doing something. So if I do have spare time to where I've gotten everything out of the way, I spend a lot of time uh, listening to motivational words, um, reading. I love, 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 love reading. Like I'm one of those, I am probably a nerd to a certain extent. The other day, Tyrone called me a nerd because I was like, oh, I miss going to the bookstore. And he just kind of looked at me like, you're such a nerd. But I love books. I love reading. I love educating myself. I love learning new things. Um, you know, and I have tons of books. Um, I love books that motivate you. Um, I love life books, books that help you with mental health, with things that you've dealt with, with uh, careers and wealth and things like that. So in my spare time, I like to do that. Or literally, I don't know how, when I used to have a nine to five, like years ago, I would be all on top of all the new shows that came out and I would know exactly what was going on. And what's weird is that now... There's so many like shows out there that I want to watch and I feel like I I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's I'm just reading too much or if I'm taking so much care of myself that I'm like living under a rock now when it comes to different shows. So I laugh at myself sometimes because I'm like, man, like I want to watch this. I want to watch that. And there's a series of things that I want to watch. So now I've kind of gotten to a place where I'm like, all right, I can take some time out of my day to kind of watch a show that I want to watch, something that I'm interested in, you know, something that's not so serious, that's entertaining. Um, and I can watch it right from my laptop, you know. But um, in any case, you guys, I feel like I just want to encourage you guys to have some type of time management in your late, in your life and in your day and in your daily routine. I know that's something that I am working on daily. One of the main things that I think my problem is, is that I go to bed at night very late. Like, and, you know, being with someone who loves to watch TV as much as I do, it doesn't help. So there's a lot of late nights watching TV. And it's almost like one of those things when you watch something and you're like, all right, after this, I'm going to bed. And then something kind of gets suggested and it looks interesting. And I'm like, hmm, what's that? And then you kind of watch a trailer for it or you kind of kind of get a synopsis of what it's about. And then it becomes so interesting that you have to just kind of watch the first part of it. Or It's like an ongoing thing at night. And I, I can't stand it because then that means that I, I know I like to get a good at least eight hours worth of sleep. Like if I'm really tired, I can sleep for like 10, 11 hours. No lie, no joke, like seriously. Um, but I hate waking up late because I feel like half or almost all of my morning is gone. And I like the feeling that I have of getting up early in the morning and getting things done because that just gives me more motivation to finish my day off strong. But with that, you need time management. You need to know what your weaknesses are. My weakness is going to bed late. Because I know if I, the later I go to bed, the later I get up in the morning. That's just how my body clock works. I used to be able to go to bed at a specific time to where naturally my body would wake up sometimes an hour, an hour and a half before my alarm went off. That's the place that I want to get to again. So I have to discipline myself into getting into a nightly routine to where I either tire myself out at the right time or I go to bed on time and I don't like forcing myself to go to sleep because then I, I don't sleep, you know? So I kind of do things during the day to kind of get myself a little tired to where I'm like, all right, now I'm ready to go to bed. I'm not one of those people that have to have something on to go to bed. I can literally just have all things off, phone, lights, TV, everything, and just go to sleep. If I really can't go to sleep, I'll read until I feel sleepy. That's one of the tips that I've learned over time um, is that, um, you know, if you're tired, reading is one of those things where, especially if you're reading something that's not, that's eventually going to kind of not interest you. I'm not saying to read something that doesn't interest you, but I hope you guys understand what I mean. Like I'm trying to... 
Because when I'm interested in something, I won't get tired of reading it. So at night, when I know I should be going to bed, I'll just kind of sim skim through articles and things like that. And I'll just read until I kind of feel like I'm going to sleep or I'm falling asleep and then, you know, I'm, I'm good. So that's one of the tips that I have um, for, for that. Another thing is meditating before bed, um, doing NFT, which is tapping on your pressure points to kind of help you de-stress. Listening to binaural beats is another way of kind of relaxing your mind and relaxing your body and getting yourself prepared to just kind of put yourself out of resting state. Um, so I've learned these things over time and they do help. They do actually work. My problem is that I tend to try to use them late at night when I should be trying to use them at a reasonable time. So my, my, my encouragement to you today is to learn time management if that's something that you are struggling with. Um, but discipline is also another thing because if you're not disciplined, I believe that time management and motivation, all that is not as strong as it should be if you don't have discipline. Discipline is so super important to have because if you're disciplined in something, that means that no matter how your day is going, you are still going to do exactly what you are supposed to do at the time that you are supposed to do it. So with that being said, you guys, get some discipline in your life, get some time, time management, motivation, motivate yourself, do things in a timely manner so you are less stressed during your day because I feel like when you don't have time management, it can put a really big stress on your life. If you're late to work all the time, if you're going to bed late all the time, if you're waking up late all the time, if you are starting your day late all the time, you don't get everything done that you want to get done. And then things kind of pile up for the next day and that causes stress not only physically but mentally as well. So do yourself a favor, time management, discipline, motivate yourself, you know, have sticky notes in front of you if you have to, but do what you have to do to de-stress yourself. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!